Hi mga kababayan, this is your tita abroad, Kring Lakson. Gusto nyo bang magtrabaho dito sa New Zealand pero meron kayong jowa sa Pilipinas na hindi nyo kayang iwanan? Well, not to worry kasi ang inyong boyfriend or girlfriend ay pwede rin makapunta dito sa New Zealand under a partner of a worker work visa. Yes, totoo po, kahit hindi kayo kasal ay pwede ninyong dalhin ang inyong partner, ang inyong boyfriend or girlfriend dito to live with you as your partner. So today we are talking about the partner of a worker work visa. This visa allows you to work in New Zealand while your partner is here on a work visa. So kung kayo po ang naiwanan na jowa, eh pwede kayong dumating dito sa New Zealand under a work visa at sundan ninyo ang inyong boyfriend or girlfriend. In this video, I'll be talking about the details on the eligibility requirements, the application process, the common mistakes to avoid, and the benefits of having this partner visa. I have applied for this visa two times when I sponsored my partner, Frank, to live with me in New Zealand. So I do have experience about like the process of this visa. First, let's talk about the eligibility requirements. Sino po ba ang pwedeng mag-apply under the partner of a worker work visa? First, we have to define the meaning of partner. Ang ibig sabihin po ng partner is two people of the same or opposite sex who live together in a genuine and stable relationship. A genuine and stable relationship means that you can either have a legal marriage, a civil union, or you can be living together as a couple even if you are not married or in a civil union. So to be able to be accepted to this visa, the most important thing is that you have to prove that you and your partner who has a work visa here in New Zealand are in a genuine and stable relationship. You are committed exclusively to each other and you can see yourself having a long-term commitment to one another. Hindi po short time, talagang kayo ay together for life, or at least that's what you plan. Another important point po here is that to be able to prove yourself as a partner, you do have to be living together. As you can see, one of the definitions of being partners is that the two of you are living together even if you are not married or in a civil union. This means that if you're living together, eh, live in po kayo. Nagrerenta po kayo ng property under both of your names or you own property under both of your names too. This doesn't include spending time in each other's homes while you have another property or you are just sharing holiday accommodations like hotels, or if you are living together as uh, apartment mates or flatmates. So, dapat po ang inyong rinarentahan or ang inyong bahay ay talagang nakapangalan sa inyong dalawa. Another eligibility requirement is that your partner who is holding the work visa, the original work visa, must have the appropriate work visa. So, meron pong mga work visa that are not eligible under this scheme. So you can see them here on the screen. And if your partner is holding the accredited employer work visa, which is our pretty much standard work visa dito, and dapat po they meet the median wage, which is 29.66 New Zealand dollars per hour. If you meet all of these eligibility requirements, let us talk about the application process. So ano po ba yung first step para kayo ay pwedeng mag-apply sa partner of a worker work visa? So ang una po is dapat nag agree yung partner ninyo that they will be supporting your application. Your partner has to support your application by filling out the form in Immigration New Zealand's website. It is INZ1146. Ang tawag po sa form na ito ay Form for Partners Supporting Partnership-Based Temporary Entry Applications. They also have to be giving some supporting documents to you, which I will talk about later on in the video. Once you have that, you apply for your visa online, head on over to immigration.govt.nz and choose the Partner of a Worker Work Visa page and you can apply from there. Once you have your application ready, you have to upload the following documents. The first would be your identity document, so that would be your passport plus one appropriate photo of you. So I guess that would mean like a passport sized photo. Good for your visa. You also have to prove good character. So NBI clearance po yan. You have to provide police certificates in the country that you are a citizen of 
plus police certificates for any for any country that you spent time in for five years or more since you were 17 years old. There is no need for you to submit this NBI clearance or other police certificates if you already applied for a New Zealand visa in the past and this was within 24 months. So as long as yung sinabmit yung um, police clearance in the past is less than two years old, then you don't need to give this. You also have to prove that you have good health so you have to have your x-ray and your medical exam with an approved panel physician in the Philippines. Immigration New Zealand has the list of all the approved doctors who could undertake that test for you. And in our link below, we will also have that. You have to have an acceptable standard of health. My list po yung Immigration New Zealand of the illnesses that might deny your application. That includes hepatitis or any chronic respiratory disease, any cardiac disease. They have a list for that in their website also. You might have to prove that you have enough funds while you are living in New Zealand. You won't need to provide this on your initial application. It's only when Immigration New Zealand comes back to you and says, hey, we need this. That's the only time you need to provide this. But if they do ask for it, you need to provide your bank statements, your credit card statements, traveler checks, and your partner could also provide the form INZ 1025, tawag ay ang sponsor form for temporary entry. Another thing that you might, note might, need to provide is also proof of your onward travel or kumbaga yung proof na aalis kayo ng New Zealand after a certain period of time. So again, this is not required of you immediately. It's only when Immigration New Zealand comes back to you and says, hey, we need this. And in this case, you just need to provide a return ticket or proof that you have arranged to leave at the end of your stay. Your partner will also need to provide a few documents to support your application. The first would be the completed INZ1146 form that we talked about earlier. That is the form for partners supporting partnership-based temporary entry applications. Ano po ba ang laman ng form na ito? So it's quite simple. Ang laman po niya ay yung details ninyong dalawa. So your name, your date of birth, your address, your nationality, ganon, etc. And then any culturally arranged marriage requirements. And your partner also has to prove that they are eligible to support you. Ang ibig po sabihin nito is dapat hindi sila nag-sponsor ng any other partner in the past. So, if for the past five years, eh, meron silang ni, ni sponsor na ibang girlfriend or boyfriend na sumama sa kanila sa New Zealand, then hindi po sila eligible. So, they should not have sponsored anyone to have the partner visa in the past five years po. Kasi medyo weird nga naman kung nag-apply sila for another for a different partner, tapos biglang mag-apply sila for yet another partner. So, medyo magulo siya. And apart from that, yung declarations po, that what they wrote in the form is true and correct. Your partner also has to provide proof of their good character. So, yan po ay ang kanilang NBI clearance kung sila ay Pilipino rin. Plus, the police certificates of any country that they lived in for 12 months or more in the past 10 years. Hindi po pwedeng may domestic violence or sexual offenses ang partner ninyo. If they do have it, then uh, they will not be eligible to sponsor you. If your partner has the accredited employer work visa, which chances are they will, they will also have to meet the median wage requirements, which is 29.66 New Zealand dollars per hour. That is a pretty okay rate, if you ask me. You'd you can be confident that they will be able to pass that. Now, the tricky part of the documentations is the proof that the two of you, you and your partner, are in a genuine and stable relationship. The evidence that you give Immigration New Zealand has to show how long you have been together, how long have you been living in together, if you spend time together, if you share your finances and other responsibilities, and if other people recognize your relationship, hindi po pwedeng secret, hindi pwedeng kabit, dapat it's also official. So you can prove this through a number of ways. First, you have to show or you have to submit also your official documents. So official documents include, if you are married or in a civil union, the document or certificate of your marriage or your civil union. If you have children, also submit the birth certificate of the children that you share. 
you also have to give your joint tenancy agreement. So if you're um, living in, in an apartment that you rent, it has to be under both of your names. Or if you have a home loan, you could put that as well. You could submit your joint bank accounts and your joint credit cards. Also submit your joint utility accounts. So any bills, phone bills, gas bills, power bills that are under both of your names. Those are the official documents, but you will also have to, very important, submit some other documents to prove your genuine and stable relationship. Ang pinaka-importante po, first, ang inyong relationship history. You have to have a written account of your relationship history from when you started dating each other, any milestones in your relationships, any trips you took together, anything. Basta lahat po ng inyong maisip, ilagay po ninyo sa inyong relationship timeline so that um, you could show the chronology of your relationship. It's also good to have some photos of you two together, collect them in a Word document or a PDF, and just upload them all to that document. You could also have some mail addressed to you and your partner on the same address. So let's say meron kayong um, letter from someone or letter from, let's say, uh, for a phone bill that's under your name only, you could also send that through as long as your partner in you also has some correspondence of uh, their own under the same address as well. It would be good to also show proof that you travel together or your dates together. So like if you went overseas, then you could show your airline tickets together, the proof that you paid for it, the Airbnbs or the hotels that you stayed in. And you could also collect some letters from your friends and family saying that, hey, I confirm that this person and this person are in a relationship together. Kitang kita ko po, talagang official na silang dalawa, mukhang magtatagal sila. It also is good to uh, have those letters from others confirming that the two of you are in a relationship. So in my experience, Puno, my partner Frank applied for this visa two times. So I sponsored him. He was the holder of the partner of a worker work visa. So to be able to prove that we were partners, we had to show a few things. So first of all, being our uh, joint tenancy agreements. At our very first application, we've only been living together for about five months. So that was good enough for Immigration New Zealand as long as I think you two have been living together for three months or more and you have proof of that then I think that's a good enough uh, time we also showed some of our photos together our relationship timeline um, receipts of our travels together and the hotels or Airbnbs we stayed in we also shared our joint utility bills and joint letters from the government of course we've put together our relationship timeline when we met when we started dating when we became official with pictures alongside to prove it. There was also a period in time during our second application that we lived separately for three months kasi nasa France po siya at ako ay naiwan dito sa New Zealand. So in that second application, we just had a letter to say that, hey, we lived separately for three months kasi ganito po yung sitwasyon namin. But we continued to communicate with each other during the time that we were separated physically. So it's also good to have that chat conversations that you and your partner have. So if kayo po ay message sa Messenger or sa iMessage or emails, then you could also um, send that as proof of your partnership. Also good to note that if you and your partner have been living apart for quite a while, then you have to have a letter to Immigration New Zealand stating why you were living separately for a time, what were the circumstances behind that, and how the two of you kept in touch. So those are all the documents that you are required to submit. They may seem daunting, but don't worry as long as you're very clear about the requirements of Immigration New Zealand, then you will be safe for the most part. You will have to pay 700 New Zealand dollars when you submit your application. That is equivalent to about 24,500 Philippine pesos. And the processing of your visa takes about 29 to 67 working days. What are my tips to ensuring that you have a successful application and you can join your partner here in New Zealand? First, you have to ensure that your documents are complete. Medyo common sense po ito, but it is the primary reason for why a lot of visa applications get rejected. A lot of them have incomplete documentation. So to be able to submit complete documents, you just have to be sure and you have to understand what each item is required from you. And from there, just identify and gather all of the documents that will fulfill these requirements. Very important, you will have to ensure 
consistency in your documents. Please double check all of the information you provide, especially in your relationship history. Any inconsistencies po will be spotted 100% sure by Immigration New Zealand. You have to double check and you and your partner must be able to corroborate. You must be able to um, agree to each other's statements. Again, have an accurate chronology of your relationship timeline and make sure po that the evidence you provide is in accordance to this relationship timeline that you provide. I cannot stress enough that you also have to provide ample evidence of the two of you living together. You really have to demonstrate that you have a credible, stable, genuine relationship with each other and that the two of you are together for life. You really have to prove that you have been living together. That is one of the key foundations to be accepted to this visa. Another common mistake is that people don't provide enough evidence of them communicating with their partner. So please, when you can, please provide all of the evidence that the two of you talk online or in person and both, both actually. And something that you might overlook is that if your circumstances change, if let's say for example, eh, nagbago ang inyong relationship status or nagkaroon kayo ng travel plans together na pang matagalan, you need to inform Immigration New Zealand. If after lodging your application, there has been a change in your or your partner's circumstance and you don't inform Immigration New Zealand about it, it will pose a problem because they will find out and it might be regarded as being untruthful or withholding information. And lastly, just keep an eye out on your email for any correspondence from Immigration New Zealand. They may come back to you to say, yes, pasok po kayo. Or they might come back saying, hey, we just need a few more proof. And if they do require some documents from you, you have to see kung ano po yung deadline for you to submit those documents. They will not, they will not extend their deadline. So if they have a deadline, you have to meet that. So you really have to check your email every day para po hindi kayo makapos sa oras. If you are not eligible for this visa, it's okay because there are so many other visa options available for us Filipinos. In immigration.govt.nz and in my link below, there is the list of all the visa options available to you. So don't lose hope po. Marami pong chances of winning. That is it for this video. If you have any comments or if there's inaccurate information here at all, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to hear from all of you. Go may tanong po kayo, please let me know. Like, subscribe, and share. Uh, ano pa ba? Yun lang yata. Okay, and I will see you in the next video, mga kababayan. This is your Tita Abroad. Paalam. See you!